they have the lead, but the manager will certainly be pushing for an improvement in the second half. That's if they hold the lead to half time. The referee has the players place another two minutes added on by the referee. Good pressure in midfield, and it's paid off. Johnny House. Last half time at 1 0. Good first half from Newcastle United. We'll see how they do in the second half now. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. Johnny House. Adam Clayton. Ryan shot it. They've cut the pass out there, and maybe that will ease the pressure. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. Johnny House. Downing. Mohamed Bezic. Good reading of the play by the defender. On the attack here. He's got to clear it now. Looking a problem until the clearance was made. Well, time is ticking away. It's time for a change, and here it comes. Kennedy. And out wide, they were in a good position until that defender acted very promptly and decisively. Downing. Gives it away. Coming up on EA Sports coverage of the EFL Championship fixture. Next up for Middlesbrough, they'll be facing Hull City away from home. Yeah, it's got a good feel about it, that one. Look forward to joining you in the country for it. Bezic. That's an easy cutout for your position, saw the pass coming. As for Newcastle United, their next game, Alan? Yeah, they're playing Stoke City in the next match. Can't really see too much between the sides. I think it'll be close. Right quickly when they get possession. Right. Johnny House. Out of Clayton. Jojo Shelby. reading of the by anticipating the pass George Friend supporting player alongside Sissoko oh what a tackle to break up the play well they managed to dig themselves out of a pretty deep hole then it was a great chance I thought but they're safe again you can't knock the fans, they're trying to do their bit to push the team on for an equaliser here. Great. I think the Newcastle management will be very happy with the performance of the players today. There's no complacency at half-time when they were in front, they've been just as solid in the second half. Time is ticking away here, and they haven't got too much of it left to deal in. The fans, though... Racking up the atmosphere. Yeah, just important now that they don't launch long balls forward, that they keep their patience and try and fashion an opening. Just five minutes to go to protect this one goal lead. We are going to see a substitution now. Ryan Schotten. Wait. Mohamed Bezic. Great wave. Down it. Now the shot. That's off the top of the crossbar and behind.
It's Yedlin. We've got two added minutes. That's been signaled now. Matt Ritchie. I think the wide man's got a chance here. There's space out near the touchline. Is this game set and match? And there is the final whistle, and it's a win for Newcastle United. Well, they play well here. They're happy, not just at the performance, I think, but the context of it, of course, to play like this in a derby game. That's an excellent effort. Well, look at their faces. It means that a bit more. And uh, for the next week or so, they'll be able to mix with the fans, knowing that they've done the damage out here today.
It's cup tie time in the English League Cup. And I can sense the extra buzz amongst the supporters as we came into the stadium. And this is our match today. It's Stoke City against Newcastle United. Stoke City have made one change. Jack Butland starts in goal. Bruno Martins Indy starts with Ryan Shawcross in central defence. Thomas Int starts. He was man of the match last time out. In attack, Man Biram Duke starts. He's been in tremendous form recently. The shot's on! It's a drive of some power, but off target. Yeah, and look, he didn't quite get set for that one. Federico Fernandez. Well, he really could be the star of the show today. Two goals in his previous match and two really good ones as well. Can really get at the opposition here. They've shown him the inside and he's taken up. He's had a go here. Hit the post. He's got it away and that's what you have to do. So close to taking the lead there, but the woodwork denying them. Just got to keep playing the way they are. Playing some good stuff at the moment. Mohamed Diame. Sizoko. Sissoko. He's got his shot off now. It's in. It's a great start for them. A wonderful goal. And we'll now have to see whether that will change both managers' approach to this game. Just look at the way he's got past these defenders, Alan, and really maximised the situation he created for himself. Well, he did. He was, he was head down and some wonderful balance and footwork to beat a couple of defenders and knock the ball in the back of the net. Wonderful goal. So that goal has put Newcastle in front. Mambir Anjouf. Now Joe Allen. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. Well, it will be a throw-in. Good football between these two. Nice passing. Breaking infield. Allen! And that's really... The... And now the shot! He's gone for the volley, and it nearly paid off. Yeah, really good technique there. Known for that kind of volley. Federico Fernandez. Untidy work. The Tebo. To Allen. Joe Allen. Juice in possession. Now, can he take them on? Shots on here. Juice! And they've got this equaliser. Golf of Diaz, who just feels sorry for the keeper, really. The way he's hit that to his right, he's got no chance of getting a hand on it. So, away we go at one all. Matt Ritchie. Sizoko. Good interception. That's a fine challenge, and he's got the ball. Etebo. Plenty of action at White Hart Lane today in front of our man Alan McInally. It's a goal for Leicester City. 29 minutes played, 1 0. Thanks, Alan. Chance to get the ball in the box. And that will clear the danger. Mambir Anjouf. Well, then it goes. That's cut out with the referee hasn't stopped it Stoke City can play on they had the ball it would have been a free kick to them shot on and the goalkeeper will get this one no problem on the move and able to cut out the pass Woods it's Cuco Martina Interesting to see what footwear the teams are going to actually use today now that this uh, rain is coming down. Might have to change what they originally started with. Yeah, and I think sometimes with the lads wearing blades these days, you do see them slipping a bit more. And uh, it might mean they have to change halfway through this match. Lost the ball. Bauer. To Allen. Well, they're in a good position here. He's had a go here. They 
blocked it there. It's one back. Ince. The referee now Joe Allen. Two minutes of added time. Sizoka. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Now Joe Allen, got to be. Was a chance maybe to hit. And that's the half-time whistle from the referee. 1-1 at the break. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Allen, from him in the first? Well, the rain has continued through half time and it is relentless. This pitch can only take so much more water. Woods. Duff. Woods. This could be a chance. And a chance he hasn't been able to take. Well, it's one of the best opportunities of the match, that. And he should. He knows he should have done better. It's yet there on his birthday. No celebrations yet. Tebow. Allen trying to find a way through here. Probing away. Bauer. Trying to run off the shoulder of the last player. Offside. That is a weakness in his game. Gets caught offside too many times. It's time for some fresh legs here. Coming onto the pitch. Number two. Kieran Clark. Goal news from Bristol City. It's a goal for Bristol City. 56 minutes, please. 1-1. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McInally. Thanks, Alan. Going for goal! That's a spectacular miss. Such a strong shot from so close. And we've got one coming on now. Coming off the pitch, number 17, Musa Sissoko. To be replaced by number 4, Ki Sung Young. Luca Martina probing with the pass. Well, the play is broken down now, and that will end the threat at least for the moment. As for Newcastle United, their next game, Alan, they're playing Queens Park Rangers in their next match in the Championship, and I can't really see too much between the sides. I think it'll be close. Guided through. Surely. Can he do it? Oh, how cheeky is that? Takes a lot of bottle to try that, but he's got it. Stoke City, trail here then. Goal for Newcastle United. To Allen. John Joe Shelby. Bauer. Ambir and Juf. Cleared away, well away from goal. Gives it away. Stoke City are getting ready to make a change now. It's an excellent cross. Matt Ritchie. It goes out wide again. Suddenly they could be on the counter-attack. Tebo trying to find an opening on this counter-attack. Well, the cross has gone in, but there's no one there to get on the end of it. It's not a cross that's caused the defence any problems, and certainly not the goalkeeper. Clark. It's one back. Joe Allen. The shot's on! What's the keeper doing here? Great ball. Such a chance to get level. Oh, I'm not sure he's going to get many better opportunities than that, Martin. We've got eight more minutes of the 90. A bit of space for him. 
Now out on the wing. Looking for teammates in the middle. Oh, they thought they were in, but the flag has gone up. Bauer. Etebo. We're going to have a substitution now for Stoke City. And that's a pass that's gone astray, out of play. Time for some fresh legs here. Goja. Martinez. Time to get the ball in. He's got his shot off now. There's only a minute to go. Three minutes, that's what's going to be played for added time. John Joe Shelby. Interception hit. It will be a free kick. Sung Young Ki. Now Clark. Could whip it in from here. Switch of emphasis going inside. And we're looking at the referee, and there goes the final.